This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. And today we're going to create a recipe that has apple juice and bison grass. We've done that pairing like five times. It seems to be the pairing. Yes. This recipe is going by the name of Polish Martini. Submitted by Paper Monster 87. Is it made backwards? Yes. <laughs> um, Sorry, it had to be said. <laughs> it did. Uh, so what I'm going to do here, about Paper Monster has two recipes this week because I, I like the shooter. I think he, I think he picked a shooter. Because he paid us. Uh, he paid us. Yeah, it was called Hawaiian Punch. Is that a shooter? Oh no, no that's not, that's a, shooter. not a shooter. Never mind. We've got a cocktail later in the week. Hawaiian Punch too. So Polish Martini is gonna have three quarters of ounce of all my favorite ingredients. Well, at least for my favorite not for a lot this of alcohol, minute. Huh? Hmm? Not a lot of alcohol. Hmm. It's a martini. You don't typically eat too much. It might only be up to here and here, so it might be kind of lame. I don't know what we'll do. Um, you know what we'll do? Let's just Keep push it up. Keep pouring more in until it kills. Three quarters of an ounce. I'm doing a full. I'm going full ounce on this one. Whoa. I'm doing it just because I have a big glass. You guys could do three quarters of an ounce. Equal proportions. However you want to do it. Vodka. Three ounces if you want. Six ounces. Make a punch out of it. Vodka. Zubrovska. Ooh, a good punch. Sorry. <laughs> Vodka. Zubrovska. Honey liqueur. Apple juice. No, it wouldn't be a good punch. This would be kill what? you. Because they kill you. A punch isn't made for one person. It'll it's kill everybody. It's in a bowl. It's like a nuke. It's like it's like and carpet bomb. And drink from it. Look. With a little scoopy. Oh. A little scoopy. Yes. They just go back multiple times. For our honey liqueur, we're using Baron Jaeger. Woo! Woot woot. That's also the only one we have. So <laughs> we're going to use that. Um, so for the bison grass vodka, which is uh, Zubrovska, you can use... I'm using two. <laughs> Zubrovska. You can also use Bax, bison grass. The reason I didn't use Bax, it was the original one I was going to use, is I can't find its origination. Where on this one it says, product of Poland. So I was like, damn, Polish martini, product of Poland, it has to be done. And the apple juice is like from down the street, I don't know where. Uh, I mean, it made, it's made. I don't think it's down the street. For vodka, I'm using Van Gogh, blue. You can use anything, but I had a sampler of this. We've got quite a few samplers. So why not use them up? Ooh, acai blueberry. Ooh, should make a recipe with that. Sure, they have one. I need to get a big bottle though, after I taste test that one. Um, so we're gonna use this, probably half of it. I don't know what it is, but we'll That's use half. Ounce. Oh, it's 50 ml. So yeah, half. It. That's a 50 ml. It is an ounce. You think you know what you're talking about? I think it's an ounce. Then it's all. The Actually, thing. I think they're always supposed to be an ounce. It just looks like a really big ounce. It's kind of why I was like an ounce. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go now. Whoa. All right. You can do three quarters. You can make a punch out of it. Do seven. I thought you were doing an ounce. I am. Oh. You can do three quarters. I, my friends, I am if doing not. an ounce. One whole ounce Simanjaro because, let's see. Hopefully you have an ounce there. <laughs> oh, you'll have an ounce if you do mile. It's a British measure of an ounce. Their ounces are all wrong. You get a shot in Europe, from what I understand, and it's like half of what you'd get here for a shot. Of course, we are a bigger people. So you need more alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> We're like ogres. I used the Zubrovska. Yeah, I did. That was the first one I used. There you go. We're done. Serve it up. You know what? Shake it! I guess when you shake, you're supposed to breathe. Just had a heart attack. Could have probably done that a little sooner. Mm. 
For a garnish, I don't really know. Oh, that was perfect measure too. One ounce fits good in this glass. I didn't prepare garnish. One ounce, one ounce, one ounce. Yes. However, I think what would be wicked cool on here, it's like a cut an apple, just float it right on top. I think it would be neat. Alas, I did not think that far ahead. Smells a little foul. Oh no. Foul? Yeah, for some reason I, I keep thinking like chocolate, but that's foul. I think it's a honey. It it at first, but it got better. Not it doesn't it doesn't have a lot of aroma. I'm mute. I got better. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting chocolate, but now I'm getting honey. Now I'm getting bison grass. I'm not getting a lot of wa um a lot not apple a little bit in the finish. Like hints of apple. Almost like a cinnamon apple. Honey apple. Honey dipped apple. Hmm. You Polish people drink it uh, much better than we do. A vodka martini to me is boring. This, I like it. It's, gotta tell you, it's really not my style of drink per se because I'm not huge into... You just said you liked it. I like it, but... It's like, I like a lot of things I wouldn't always, how do I say this right? I don't think, if you had a whole list of categories of things you didn't like, you could still find things in there that you think would be desirable. It's still not working. In any Whatever. case, it's flavorful, but I just don't think I'd pick it out of, a, if I had a lineup of drinks, I tend to probably go with something a little more sweet, like yesterday's cocktail, which was the um, Baby Fragola. Um, I like the fruits, a lots of different tropical fruits. This is a little more classy um, in common man cocktails, and I've been called out plenty of times about not being classy. Where's a spoon for me to lick, right? So I think this is kind of more high class, like a honey cinnamon. I don't know where the cinnamon's coming from, but whatever. Um, maybe it's just an impression because you got that sweet apple, and the Zubrovska is always tasty, and the vodka, in the, at least with uh, Van Gogh. I know Van Gogh's products. We've, we've had them at breakfast or something like that once um, at Tales of the Cocktail. It's a good vodka, so you're getting, you know, there's no impurities in this drink. This is a very pure drink with the apple honey thing going on. In a martini, that's a good thing. I like that. I think it's a definitely a must-try for people who are into martinis, into something that's got a little bit of vodka going on. Um, tasty, especially if you're looking for ways to expand your bison grass collection of cocktails because it's not the most popular of things yet, but I think it seems to be growing. It's a good drink. Polish Martini. Thank you, Paper Monster 87 for another good drink. EverydayDrinkers.tv for another good cocktail. We're teaching you how to drink.